There is a mechanic of life, there is how much life is spread in the universe and what are the questions. But really is, why do we have life? It's a question that I think any child is going to be interested and excited about. Where do we come from? Some people are looking in, into life in the solar system, not on Earth, but on other planets or moons. But I would like to know whether there is life outside of the solar system. There's an environment in a tiny moon one and a half billion kilometers from us that might actually have life in it. We don't know if there is, but it might. So those are the kinds of things we're discovering with planetary exploration today, and it's a, it's a real golden age, I have to say. We are primed to find signs of life beyond Earth. It's a new era for exoplanets with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. It has just started successful operations. We have our first spectrum of an exoplanet atmosphere published, and there's high hopes for what the web can do in terms of looking for signs of life by way of gases that don't belong in exoplanet atmospheres. The big progress which was made in the last five years or so in understanding what of uh, the chemistry that leads from geochemical conditions to uh, what we call protocells, uh, chemical systems that, that resemble the first life on this planet. So when we are able to finish that project, that will be a major breakthrough in human science. The observations that will come from the James Webb Space Telescope, but also from ground-based telescopes in the future, will let us, to an unprecedented precision, understand the chemistry of atmospheres around other planets that are not the Earth, around other stars. And so this will go some way in, into answering questions as to whether the Earth formed from some kind of uh, Goldilocks conditions where everything was just right um, or not. And so is life more or less common than we think? Uh, I think these answers are, are to come in the next few years. As a scientist, when I get asked about what is the most exciting result, it's always the same answer. That's the next one.